Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart for today, starting on the one day time frame for Bitcoin, where we are continuing to see this exaggerated bullish divergence play out in the charts here. And in the case that you are not familiar with what this actually is, it is when we have horizontal lows in the Bitcoin price and higher lows in the RSI momentum indicator. And sometimes this indicates a reversal signal in the trend. So we spotted this potential trend reversal very, very early here, guys, and already saw a 10% move to the upside. Now taking a look at the one day MACD indicator for Bitcoin, this is now also flipped into bullish once again. And typically when this flips into bullish for Bitcoin, we see quite a lot of upside in the price after that. So this is something pretty significant to actually take into consideration. However, do keep in mind that if you start to see this curl down, then potentially we need to come back down into this bearish zone once again. But for now, this indicator is just giving us a signal that we are seeing bullish momentum and that this could continue for quite a bit longer because we are talking about the one day time frame here. However, the elephant in the room here is actually the one week RSI momentum indicator for Bitcoin, which you can see right here because this is in a strong downtrend still. And we have now reached a critical moment here for this RSI because on the one week time frame we have now had another touch point with this descending trend line here so i would say this is pretty much the moment of truth here for bitcoin if we see a rejection back down here from this trend line then likely we could see a couple more weeks or potentially months of bearish price action for Bitcoin. So this is pretty serious if we get a rejection. However, if we actually break above this trend line here, then to me, this would indicate a potential reversal in the Bitcoin momentum. Of course, ever since we were in this downtrend, this has basically been pointing towards bearish momentum and sideways momentum for Bitcoin. But now breaking that downtrend in the RSI, would also indicate that likely we are going to see a reversal here, which could even lead to breaking the top of this resistance and grabbing this liquidity to the upside right here. And as I have said many times on this channel previously, so long as we keep trading inside this range, my base case is that at some point we are breaking out of the top of this range to grab this liquidity here. And guys, remember when we were down here, and everyone was bearish. Everyone was saying the bull market was over, 40K is next, 30K is next. And I was saying, let's just wait to see a confirmed breakdown here before we start talking about much lower price action when we haven't even lost 50K yet, right? Now at the time, what did you see in the comments? I was getting called a perma bull. I was like a moon boy, you know, for saying, yeah, we haven't seen a confirmed breakdown of this descending channel. So I don't see a reason to be much more bearish here considering that we are at the low of the range and invalidation from here would be very obvious. We would see a breakdown here and lose this as a level of support, potentially retest it and fail to reclaim it, breaking down lower from there. It would look very obvious in the charts, right? But instead we got this exaggerated bullish divergence as I literally called out the day that this first occurred. And I was saying this could already be it. But yes, we could go lower, deeper into this support level here, but then it would just be a regular bullish divergence because you would still have this higher low in the RSI and a lower low in the Bitcoin price. But for now, we just have horizontal lows and therefore it is an exaggerated bullish divergence, which is just a little bit more rare, but it is a bullish divergence nonetheless. Now, why do I want to mention this in this video here? It's because every time it is exactly the same around the lows, everyone flips bearish around the lows. You have to understand this. So when everyone around you is extremely bearish and you get called a perma bull for literally saying we haven't lost a level of support, that's when you know potentially the low might actually already be in and the risk to reward setup is actually pretty good at those levels, right? When everyone is bearish, that's actually when the risk to reward is usually pretty good. Now, let me be clear that there's a difference between having an idea like this and a base case that you're basing your trades off of and just blindly buying every single dip that you see. Because yes, buying the dip is a great strategy in crypto that really works until it doesn't. And then you're buying the dip for like <laughs> an entire year and it just keeps dipping, right? 
and then you lose a lot of money. So you need to have some kind of point of invalidation. And as I said, if this really broke down here, I would have literally just dumped the whole stack that I have left of my Bitcoin. But for now, we just created a horizontal low and blasted off from there. So now that this has happened, what do I think is next? Well, we're running into some critical resistance right now. And so long as we are trading inside this range, it is still completely possible that we go to the bottom of the range once again, which would be roughly at about 50K right now. And it is possible that we go to the top of the range as well, which is at about 66K right now. So basically on the one day time frame, we are just in a consolidation trading between this level of resistance and this level of support. And that is basically just what we are doing. It's not more complicated than that. And I've been saying this guys, for literally months at this point. I think it's like five months. Now, the next time, if we get to the top of the range, once again, you need to look for potential reversal signals there, because what you will see is that everyone flips extremely bullish. So everyone will tell you about 85K is coming next, 95K, 150K for Bitcoin is coming next in the, in the next two months, you know? Everyone will start talking about this once again, but it is at the highs that people start doing this. So there's a lot of excitement in the market at the time. And that is the thing that actually got the price up to that level. Now, the next time we come up here, we might actually break out to the upside, sweep the liquidity here, and we'll see what happens after that. But if I see something like this, where we break out above and we come back down inside this range, for me, I will have no problem dumping the entire stack once again. And if we then do something like this, where we actually come back up and break out of here once again, and then just open up another trade right here. That is how I have managed my risk throughout this entire time and how I was able to make a lot of money inside this consolidation here, while other people were just either trading sideways in their spot, or they were just getting wrecked on these moves to the downside, selling at the lows every single time. Now, one thing we must take into consideration are the Fibonacci levels for Bitcoin. Now, as I said yesterday, recently we broke out here, then retested this point 3A2 Fibonacci level at 57K as a level of support. And as I said, I think it is very likely that if we get a daily candle close above this 57K level once again, that we are going to see a further bounce to the upside, which we have now seen today. And we reached perfectly up to this next Fibonacci level for Bitcoin, the 0.5 level sitting at 59.5K. As I said, this will be a level of resistance for Bitcoin. So make sure to watch the price action right now for a potential rejection back down. However, for now, it is actually looking just fine. We are just chopping around around this resistance here. So hopefully this kind of continues here. We potentially even creep up a little bit, but at least get that daily candle close above the 0.5 Fibonacci level. That is something that I would be looking out for on this higher time frame here, because in that case, we could start talking about another retest of this Fibonacci golden pocket here, sitting from 62 all the way up to 62.7K for the Bitcoin price. And in the case that you were not around yet when we were trading in this range here, the Fibonacci golden pocket is a very strong level of resistance. So right here, we saw many touches with this Fibonacci golden pocket before actually breaking out above it here. And we might get a similar situation where personally, I'm not expecting us to just blast straight through this Fibonacci golden pocket, right? So especially if we actually come up this high in the Bitcoin price, then make sure to, again, watch out for those potential rejections in the price action. And this would become even more important if we actually do this in the somewhat short term here, because on the four hour time frame, we are now reaching close to overbought territories for Bitcoin, making a rejection at that point more likely if we reach that 62K level roughly pretty soon here after we have already seen this pump, right? So that is just something I'm taking into consideration. And I would say the same thing for this one hour time frame for Bitcoin, where this has actually already touched into overbought territory here. And usually what you'll see in the RSI is that, yes, I mean, of course it can go higher into overbought territory, 
but longing as it's going higher and higher into this overbought territory becomes riskier and riskier. So usually what you'll see is that the RSI will reset back down a little bit to around this 50 level here. And the way the RSI actually resets is either with some choppy sideways price action, in which case you would get something like this that I drew out right here, or you could get some bearish momentum, in which case the RSI would reset down more quickly and can even go past the 50 level here, because whenever we are at 50, we are basically just seeing choppy sideways price action. There's no bullish momentum and there is no bearish momentum on that specific time frame around that 50 level so that is just something to take into consideration here especially because we are also about to reach into a weekend here and usually what you'll see on weekends is less volatile price action for bitcoin either way this has been today's market update thank you very much for watching once again and i will see you tomorrow in the next one